Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman and this is just a quick heads up video to let you know that Tiffany from Fact or Fiction will be hosting a live hangout with Astronomy Live and qualified astrophysicist Brian Kobeling to discuss the Claudia Albers papers or a physicist's thoughts. Tiffany has put together the video that will follow the short message the live hangout will be taking place in approximately 24 hours from the time of this upload. You'll find a link in the description area underneath this video to the live hangout which will be on the Fact or Fiction channel. So I'll leave it now to Tiffany's introduction to astrophysicist Brian Kobeling. Thank you for watching. What's up guys? Tiffany here. I wanted to make a quick video um, about my guest Brian Coberlein who will be joining Astronomy Live and I in a hangout tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Eastern. A little background, my correspondence began with Mr. Coberlein from a thread that I put on Reddit with uh, some of Chris Potter's uh, physicist white papers about brown dwarf stars. Uh, he responded and I he answered some of my questions and then he wrote this um, blog is Eris a brown dwarf debunking her um, theory of all these brown dwarfs in our solar neighborhood so um, what I wanted to do is just do like a, a brief introduction of him um, his education his expertise um, and what he does so Brian is a senior lecturer at Rochester Institute of Technology. Uh, he is an expert in astrophysics, astronomy, physics, and science communication. He has a PhD in astrophysics from the University of Connecticut. He has a blog at one universe at a time and uh, science outreach prove your world. Um, I have a quick video um, that I want you guys to watch right quick about Brian and science communication. Um, my, my big thing with science communication is science is done largely on public dollars. So we get a lot of government funding, um, it's supported by tax dollars. And it's important that we communicate science clearly. I mean, that's part of the reason. The other reason is that we live in a technological society and science is central to our lives. And if we don't understand it, if the general population doesn't understand it, we can't make intelligent decisions about where to go forward in terms of policy, in terms of what to fund, what not to fund, and so forth. So, so that's kind of my underlying goal, is, is to make science more accessible to people. You know, we've got to do the outreach. We've got to connect to people. Because ultimately, if, if people don't understand the, the science, if people disagree with, with well-established, well-researched science, that's on us. You know, the scientists are the only ones who can communicate it clearly and can make it known to the general population. Brian also writes for Forbes. His bio states, I'm an astrophysicist and senior lecturer of physics and astronomy at the Rochester Institute of Technology. I have written a textbook on computational astrophysics with Cambridge University Press, Astrophysics Through Computation. In addition to my astrophysics, my passion is communicating science to the general public. I write a great deal of popular science articles on the web. You can find most of it on my blog, One Universe at a Time. So I kind of just really wanted to just put his information out there for uh, people to know who will be we will be uh, interviewing tomorrow. Um, if you guys have any questions, please uh, leave them in the comments and I'll make sure I pass them along to Brian. Um, my main reason for doing this, honestly, is when Scott and um, Potter did their uh, hangout the other day with the theoretical physicists, they boasted up her education, which is fine. So I just want to put it out here, who Brian is, and to say, I, I honestly just 
don't want to hear the mainstream conspiracy crap. This man is legit. So I'll see you guys tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern. Please join us. And like I said, if you have any questions whatsoever, we'll be dis discussing the uh, Brown Dwarf Stars, uh, Nibiru, and the Electric Universe more than likely, since that seems to be the way that they're going with this.